Hello and welcome back to Gapy's Grow Room. This is the first episode for the 2021 season grow room and I'll be going over what I've started so far, how everything is doing, and I'll also talk a little bit about the lighting and other equipment that I'm using. So stay tuned. All right, so let's take a look at this top shelf. This shelf only has the alliums, which are a couple of onions and some leeks. We've got the Elsa Craig, which is one of my favorite onions to grow. They get nice big bulbs. And then Patterson is a hybrid that I haven't tried before, so I'm looking forward to giving that one a try. And these were started about one month ago, and I've already given them their first haircut just a few days ago. So I try to keep them down to about two inches tall, and then once they grow to about four inches or so and start falling over, then I'll give them another trim. So I'll trim them several times before I transplant them out in the garden in probably April. And then the leeks here, I started those a little bit later. I think they're about two weeks old right now. So they have a little bit ways to go, but I have these in a shelf all to their own because these are in much taller containers and need a lot more space to grow. While the stuff on the other shelf is much um, closer to the light. And then I've also got some onions over here in the grow tent. So these onions I've got over here because I'm working on a time lapse. So I've got my camera set up to take a picture every hour for the next couple of weeks. And I started these onions about the same time as the leeks. So they're just a couple of weeks old and I started the, the time lapse um, right when I start, started seeing those germinating. So it's been going for about a week now. So we've got a week to go and then I'll work on putting that together into a video. And once I've got that video ready, I'm going to go ahead and move those onions back with the, the rest of them. But I've got a like a whiteboard as a background. And then I've also got a LED panel that I'm using for lighting this one. So hopefully the, the video comes out and I'll be sharing that with you soon. So before we go on to the next shelf, I just wanted to show you some of the equipment that I'm using. I've got this hurricane clip fan that I turn on for usually a few hours a day. Um, I, I put it on the onions right now and then I'll kind of move it to the second shelf and put it down there for a couple hours. So that's been really helpful to strengthen the stems of the plants and also help um, to avoid any kind of fungus and fungus gnats in the soil. And then for lighting, I like to use these T8 shop lights for the lighting for the at least the germination stage and the seedling stage. Once they get a little bit bigger, then I'll move to LED panels. Um, but this one here has just a regular T8 shop light in it. I think it's around 5600 Kelvin. Um, you just pick those up at any Lowe's or Home Depot or you can get them on Amazon as well. And then for lifting and lowering the light, I like these kind of, it's like a mini pulley system, so it makes it really easy to move the lights up and down. So on the second shelf, you can see how close I have the seedlings to the light. They're about three inches or so right now. Um, I have them a little bit higher than I'd like because some of the, the peppers here are growing a little bit taller like this um, tangerine splash here. That one's growing really tall for some reason, so I have to raise the light um, to fit the tallest plants. So if these weren't so tall, I would actually lower it a little bit more. Um, and I'll show you the, the pulley action here. So all you need to do is pull this string and it raises the light. So super simple. So we're gonna raise this other side. So I've got two lights on this shelf that are turned on. The one in the back is the one that has the LED bulbs in. So it's using the same fixture for both um, bulbs, but one has LED in it and one has just regular fluorescent bulbs. You can see the LED, well maybe, I'm not sure if you can tell or not, but the, the LED is actually, looks like it's more of a, a warm light and the fluorescent is more of a cooler temperature. Um, but I've got the, the peppers here on the left and if you saw my live video that I did a few weeks ago, I went over all of the chinense and Bacatum varieties that I'm growing, and that's what I've got here so far. 
I'm not going to go over all of them in this video, but I'll just show you a few of the the ones that are doing really well. So I mentioned before the Tangerine Splash. I've got two of those here that are growing super tall compared to the rest of them. Those are both back Bacatum crosses. And then another one that's doing really good is this Maruga Red Monster. It's It was the first one to germinate and it's grown the biggest. It's a Chinense variety. And then this one's a fun one. It's a Pimenta Puma and it's got some nice purple leaves on it. I think that's the only variety I'm growing that's got purple leaves. And I've got another one over here. Same variety but not quite as big as the other one. And then here we've got a Cookie Monster Bubblegum. That's uh, gonna be a fun one I think. And then let's see, let's go ahead and move over to this side. We've got some Casper Kale. So that is doing really good here. And then we've got some Arugula. These are all kind of cool weather greens. And we've got some lettuce. That lettuce actually got really leggy because I didn't notice it germinated soon enough, so I didn't get it under the light fast enough. So that is kind of, I may have to restart those because they're really leggy. And then I've got a variegated chicory, which is really a neat looking green. So I'm looking forward to trying that. I haven't grown it before. And then we've got three different varieties of spinach. We've got Noble, Everlasting, and then a Bloomsdale back there. And then let me raise the light in the back so you can get a closer look at those guys back there. All right, let's see if we can get back here. We've got some German thyme, and my thyme here usually doesn't last the winter. It should be a perennial, but I have a, a hard time getting it to overwinter, and I usually end up buying starts. So this is the first time that I've tried growing it from seed, and this is supposed to be a more cold hardy variety, so hopefully we can get that one to survive a winter. And then we've got some celery. This is a tango variety which I got from a seed swap, the Bella Garden seed swap, and I'm looking forward to seeing how that one does. I haven't tried it before. And then, so that's all I've got in that whole tray. I've got two rows of those, and then some more celery in this tray. And let me pull this out and get a closer look here. So this is um, Purple Lady Bok Choy, and it got a little bit leggy. So these are under the LED light, which is a little bit more powerful light than the fluorescent. So I have it raised a little bit higher than I would normally raise it, but it, since these are getting so leggy, I might need to lower that a little bit. And then I'm trying sea holly for the first time. And sea holly is a perennial, I believe, so I did cold stratify those seeds in the refrigerator for a couple months. But so far we've only got one little sprout coming up. And then we've got some coneflower. This is a yellow, mellow yellow variety that I got from Baker Creek. And I grew a few of those last year and I thought I would try a few more. So we have some pretty good germination on these and I, I did cold stratify these as well. One more thing we have hiding back here are two butterfly blue pea flowers. So those are the only two I got to germinate and I started a whole bunch of seeds. And I've still got some over here. Let me show you. I've got them under this towel here on a heat mat. So I've got two different um, seed sources for these. These ones are kind of, I don't know if you could see, but they're actually kind of brownish colored. And then these other ones that I have are actually very black. So I think they're both the same thing, but dif two different colored seeds but the ones that I got to germinate are from the brown ones and none of the black ones have germinated so I'm not sure they're going to. They've been sitting here for probably a couple weeks now. And then the last little tray we have here is some red calabrocha. That's a flower kind of similar to petunias. I got some seeds of those from my mom. But so far only, I think there's only, you can't even probably see it, there's a little tiny sprout coming up right there. Um, but I'm not sure if, if we're gonna get too much of a germination on those. But that is all that's going on in the grow room for now. Oh, I did wanna mention that I do have the peppers on a heat mat. You can see a heat mat there. All the rest are not on heat mats, but the peppers need a little bit more warmth than the other varieties. And I have, I highly recommend if you get a heat mat, 
that you get this one of these thermostats so that it doesn't get too hot but this is set to I believe 75 degrees and it's really important for peppers to get some warmth but all this other stuff should do pretty well without it um, the room temperature here is about 60 degrees so all this other stuff should be just fine so that's it for this grow room update I'll be doing another one in probably a few weeks sometime in March Thanks for watching and we'll talk to you again soon. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. You can also find me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook.